Hi, welcome to the JT Store. Today I will show you how to create a product layout. As JT Store uses Joomla article as products, we have to create multiple product as shown in the previous videos. Here I have created some multiple products. The only thing you have to concentrate for creating a product layout is to concentrate on the menus. So go to your menu and click on the main menu. Now click on the new button. So input some value for your menu. So I'm going to input as shirts. So once you're done with that, the next step is to choose your menu item type. The next step is to choose the menu item type. Click on the select button. Since we have created a multiple product, I'm going to click on the JT store. Now click on the product list view. Now here you can choose your category. I have created a category called shirts. So I'm going to choose my category as shirts. And if you have multiple categories, you can choose it over here. So once you have chosen your product list view and category, click on the item view option in category listing. You can see the various components available here. To view and hide a component, you can click on the hide and show button. But primarily, you have to set your uh, number of items to be displayed in a category view listing. You can also provide number of columns to be displayed. And uh, you can also uh, configure your title, product and filter options over here. Uh, for example, suppose if I want my filter option to be in the left, so I can click on the left. Here you can configure your price filter upper limit. Now here if you see, uh, you can enter the price range for your filter. So I'm going to enter this as 2000. And uh, you can also round prices by uh, filtering again uh, 2000. And here, and here you can also configure your option based on the product manufacturer and vendor filters which we'll be discussing in the later videos. You can also configure your image width in the category view listing option. So I'm going to enter this as 200. If you want to uh, hide and show the discount percentage you can uh, configure the settings over here. So similarly you can also configure your product view options. To do that click on the item view options. Choosing the hide and show sliders you can uh, configure your title, description, SKU and price over here. The JT store shopping cart you have the facility of enabling the zoom effect. You can enable them by choosing yes and no sliders over here. And by choosing these sliders, you can enable your upsell related items. For example, if you're dealing with uh, other product brand like coffee maker of one liter and two liter, you can also uh, you can uh, enable them by uh, choosing the sliders, and it, uh, you can also enable your cross sells. For example, if you're uh, dealing with coffee maker, uh, and if you want to sell the coffee powder and mugs, you can enable the cross sells by choosing the sliders. And you can also set your columns for upsells and cross sells uh, or by inputting the values over here. To view the product, click on the store name you have created. Now click on the menu. Now what you are seeing here is a category list view. I made a simple configuration of the filter price to be on the left. Now you can see the filter by price is on the left. Now as you move the filter slider, as you move the filter slider, you can display the product as per the price range. Now, as I move my slider, you can view the product is being displayed uh, between the range of $200 to $1,000. To view the product view, click on any of the products you have created. Now, what you are seeing here is a product view. And here you can see the description of the product. As I uh, enable the zoom option in the product list view, now as you click over here you can see the zoom option is being displayed. Thank you for watching this video.